Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with another video for the new Boston. Now, in the last video, we talked about arrays. In this video, we're going to be looking at associative arrays. Now, associative arrays store data in the same way, but allow you to change the key from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, however many keys you have, to a name of your choice. So, first of all, um, this is from the prior example. I'm just going to delete this. Now, as it stands, um, we've got an array set up with four different types of food in. So we've got pasta, pizza, salad, and vegetable, which turns out to vegetables. Um, so at the moment, this is key zero, this is key one, this is key two, and this is key three. Now, I want to store some useful information about this. Um, at the moment, we've just stored like this. Okay, it's, it's not very useful um, as it stands. Um, obviously, if we want to list this food, then it is useful. However, I want to add some um, elements to this array that are could be used in say a specific uh, in real life environment now what I want to do is I want to rather than have this as the value I want to assign a value to pasta of the amount of calories that you might find in it the same with pizza the same with salad and then lastly the same with vegetables so I want to assign a value and to assign a value to this key remember this isn't a value anymore I'm gonna say equals and then um, a greater than sign and I'm gonna add um, a certain amount of calories that this can be equal to so pasta we might say um, 300 calories pizza we're gonna say equals and greater than uh, might be a thousand calories salad we might say is equal to let's say 50 calories um, in fact, no, that's not really realistic, 150 calories. And then vegetables, um, I'll say, are equal to 50. Now, if you carefully uh, watch, remember we're using our, our commas after this, we're assigning this all in one, um, and then it's separated by commas. If you watch carefully um, how this will change, and I'll tell you how this will change before it does. Now, this uh, zero is gonna change to pasta. And then this equals and greater than sign is going to tell us how many calories here. And the same with uh, the pizza, salad, and the vegetables. So if I refresh, you can now see that pasta is equal to 300, pizza is equal to 1,000, salad is equal to 150, and vegetables is equal to 50. So our key of pasta is holding a value of 300, our key of pizza is holding a value of 1000, our key of salad is holding a value of 150, and our key of vegetables is holding a value of 50. So now what we can do is, instead of accessing, um, let's just uh, comment this out, um, as before we accessed um, uh, array elements like this, we used zero, one, two. So if you imagine this would be zero, this would be one, this would be two, this would be three. Now if I was to try and access, say, element zero, that's pasta of 300 calories, um, when you refresh the page you can see nothing's happened. Now why has nothing happened? Because the key of zero doesn't technically exist anymore, uh, at least to our view. In actual fact, this has now become an associative array because we're associating pasta with a value of 300. So now if we echo out the food, um, the contents of pasta within this food array will now retrieve the value 300. The same if, as if we were to echo out the uh, calories in pizza, this will then equal 1000. So you can see that we've now created an associative array. We're associating values to different, um, different keys um, and it's by association, so you can understand now why it's called an associative array. So this is a better way in PHP, especially when you deal with databases later on. Um, these, if you've worked with databases before and you, you know what fields are, or column column names are, sorry, um, you'll have, you'll have um, the option to use an associative array when you've gained data from a database. So associative arrays are really, really um, good to use, especially when you don't want to remember, you know, zero, one, two, three, because that can be a bit um, annoying. Um, but yeah, that's basically associative arrays in PHP.